Of the four major sports in the U.S., baseball, football, and hockey could all be argued to have best translated over to the world of board games, with quirky yet very successful titles like Baseball Highlights 2045, Blood Bowl, and Trick Shot. And although there have been a number of basketball games released over the years, it remains unfortunately the one major professional sport that is still looking for a breakout title. Well, in today's sponsored video of Hoop Gods from publisher Board Game Brothers, I'll be giving you a brief look at this upcoming two-player Kickstarter game that draws its inspiration from a very fun to watch and growing community of three-on-three -three basketball. So three-on-three -three basketball has really been around for as long as basketball itself, and it's well known for its fast-paced, creative style of play and has been popularized by legendary teams of street players whose names have translated their local playgrounds and gyms. In fact, for the first time ever, three-on-three -three basketball was set to debut as an official Olympic sport during the 2020 Summer Olympics, which were unfortunately canceled due to the ongoing effects of the pandemic. Which brings me to Hoop God itself, a pretty faithful translation of the quick playing, fast paced style of street level basketball, but this time with no refs, no fouls, and no free throws. So it's all about grabbing seven points as quickly as possible by taking advantage of your positioning on the court in this short, 30 minute game of wits. There are three main things that I wanna to touch on during this video that I believe make Hoop Gods a game that you should consider if you are a basketball fan. One, the game's ease and speed of play. Two, it's accurate representation of the skills and actions that fans enjoy in the game of basketball, like crossover, steals, blocks, rebounds, and dunks, and which players might be best suited to perform those particular actions. And three, the way that the game handles action management through the use of energy. Let's start with the most simple of the three, the game's ease of play. Hoop Gods at its core is a fundamentally simple game to understand and is played out on a court of basketball filled with two types of hexagons, dark and light. Light hexagons on the court represent locations where players can shoot to score two points, while dark locations represent three point opportunities for players instead. Players will take turns back and forth until one of the two teams scores seven points or until time runs out, which can occur faster as teams rest in order to regain their lost energy. On a player's turn, they will typically attempt to take one of the three basic actions or card actions to move their team into a position on the court that will allow them to score points, each action taking a specific amount of energy in order to carry out. The opposing team will also have a number of cards that provide them with ample opportunities to respond to the actions of their opponent, also requiring their own amount of energy, effectively allowing both players to play defense when needed and when in position on the court to do so. When players can't defend against the actions of their opponent, cards typically take effect automatically, like stealing the ball from an opponent who can't cross over to defend, or taking a shot without someone having the energy to try and block the shot. But when a player can respond to a player's card action with a card of their own, then players are forced to have what is called a dice battle, where players roll dice in an attempt to match the icons on their played cards, with the winner being the only one to take the action of their played card. These dice battles can be played in either two types of forms, real time, with the players frantically rolling their dice trying to match the icons on their actions until one player wins, or can be played in a turn-based mode, where players roll and re-roll their dice together at the same rate of speed. And in a nutshell, outside of learning what each of these actions can do, that's the meat of what players are trying to accomplish on each of their turns. Which leads me into number two, which starts with each of the two teams drafting a team of three ballers, each with unique skills and abilities as well as one of three different heights, short players, average players, and then finally tall players, each of which affects their ability to perform certain actions in the game, like tall players being better suited for rebounds and dunks, while short players are better at action cards with crossovers and steals, providing those ballers with advantages like consuming less energy or maybe rolling more dice when they're attempting those particular things. And with each baller having both a different height and skill to consider, players can draft their teams based on either their personal preferences, their unique play styles, or the strategies that they wish to try in that particular game. So every action that you take in the game needs to be carefully considered depending upon who is handling the ball at what given time or who wishes to take a specific action. 
all of which play into each of the decisions that you must make on your turn, making sure that you're always in the most opportune position to take advantage of your baller's strengths as well as their weaknesses. Which leads me to number three. All of these actions that you take on your turn are directly affected by your ability to manage the supply of your team's energy, which comes in the form of 10 juice tokens that will ebb and flow throughout the labeled buckets on your player board. Every action in Hoop Gods requires juice, from the three basic actions on your player aid that cost one juice each, to the actions that players can take on their cards, which range in value depending upon their base cost, plus any additional costs associated with the height of the player that is attempting that particular action. Juice, in effect, is really the most central mechanism at play here at Hoop Gods. With each action requiring juice, it's imperative that players learn this mechanism first and foremost because it requires players to manage their reserves in order to string together multiple actions in a row, or to maybe hold back juice in order to defend against your opponent's advance. And players will be forced to rest in order to regain large reserves of their juice back into their available pool for future turns. So that's a brief look at Hoop Gods. I invite you guys to also look at our live playthrough on our channel, which will be linked in the description below for a more detail and turn-to-turn -turn play structure. And everything that you saw here today was in fact in prototype form, so we invite you guys to go to the Kickstarter to see all the final components. And as always, thank you for watching. Hey everyone, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider dinging the old bell below. That is going to help notify you of new videos that are uploaded to our channel. And as always, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and please consider watching all of our videos, one of which you can see right here to my left.